हेलो वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल क्लासेस फॉर विद्या भवन हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल आई एम मेघा मैम एंड दिस क्लास इज फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व एंड द चैप्टर वॉट आई विल डिस्कस टूडे इज कॉमन डिफिशियंसी डिजीजेस इन इंडिया दिस पार्ट इज पार्ट फाइव इन बिफोर फोर पार्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द पीईएम एंड वेट बट इन दिस चैप्टर इन दिस पार्ट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनिमिया okay so what is anemia anemia is a deficiency disease where the hemoglobin content is less in our body fluid in blood so the hemoglobin content hemoglobin decreases due to the various reasons that can be for some micronutrients for some vitamins for iron etc so anemia is a disease where hemoglobin level is low the causes of it are for the deficiency of various vitamins like folic acid b12 c and also minerals like uh, iron deficiency anemia it's a very common okay so now i'm going to the classifications of the anemia okay the classifications the first type in this classification is the nutritional anemia nutritional anemia where any nutrient loss is leading to the anemia that can be of some of type like uh, the first one the following types are the first one can be microcytic hypochromic anemia the uh it occurs due to the deficiency of the iron okay the second one can be megaloblastic or macrocytic anemia the reason of this is can be folic acid deficiency okay and also along with the b12 okay so it is mainly the deficiency for the vitamins now the third can be dimorphic anemia the reason behind this is always b12 okay the fourth can be normocytic hypochromic anemia the reason is mainly vitamin c deficiency okay so these are the nutritional anemia now we are coming to the hemolytic anemia okay the second is the second is hemolytic okay hemolytic anemia the hem means hemoglobin and the lytic word came from the lysis lysis means breakdown so breakdown of hemoglobin is called hemolytic anemia the causes can be the blood transfusion the uh, actually the problematic blood transfusion or the blood, when the blood gets mixed the various types of blood the various if the various group of blood get mixed then the blood transfusion may lead to the hemolytic anemia and also for the snake bite for the malaria etc are the main causes of it now uh, the hemorrhage 
Gucci gang in here. So the next one is hemorrhage anemia. So the meaning of the hemorrhage is excessive blood loss. So it can be caused by many of things like any accidents, like any diseases, etc. The next is genetic. Okay. The genetic anemia. The causes of the genetic anemia can be the thalassemia. Okay, or the sickle cell cell. In the next, I'm just raising. The next one is a plastic anemia. When a plastic anemia is something, when the lifespan of 120 days of an RBC get decreases. Okay, the normal lifespan is 120 days of an RBC, but when it get decreases, then the plastic anemia forms. The next is iron deficiency. When there is any deficiency diseases due to the iron, due to the malabsorption of the iron or anything or lowering the consumption of the iron, so it leads to the iron deficiency anemia. It is, uh, it is mainly seen in the pregnant woman, also in adolescents, as in adolescents, also for in the babies. Consequence of the anemia. Okay. As hemoglobin carries the oxygen for our cells, so if the anemia occurs, so the uh, body oxygen transmission get hampered and also the cells, as the cells doesn't consume the oxygen properly, doesn't get the oxygen properly, they are, become pale and we feel some tiredness and also the lower work capacity can be seen. So the consequences like for the pregnant woman, it can lead to the 20% of maternal death. Also hampers physical and cognitive activity for the children low birth weight infection okay and uh, also for the adolescents they are Lowering school performance. So these are the many common, very common consequences of the anemia. Now I am coming to the signs. Signs and the symptoms of the anemia. The very common signs and symptoms are firstly paleness. It is seen to the children and also in the mother and the pregnant woman. Next is swelling of fat due to edema. Edema are formed so the swelling of the, in the extremities are, can be seen. Think third is Coil and chia. Coil and means the nails and the fingers became papery thin and a malformation of the nail form. The next is reduction walk capacity.
also breathlessness the next is uh, induced immunity also the improper cognitive development also maternal and perinatal mortality so these are the main signs and symptoms of the anemia in the so in this class we have discussed about the signs and symptoms and the different types of the anemia in the next class we will discuss about the causes the treatment and the supplementation till then thank you